Today's short video is on a fantastic news for all hair loss patients including both men and women. Yes, this is on the most recent treatment for hair loss by Replicel that is RCH01. This RCH01 hair loss treatment trial has completed its phase 1 clinical trials with some strong positive data. In this video, we'll know the latest happenings on the Replicel company's RCH01 hair restoration product, the so-called Permanent Baldness Cure. We'll also learn how this product works, that is the mechanism of action and how this is used on a patient with alopecia. Before we start, please make sure you have subscribed to the channel with the bell notification click so that you receive updates from our channel. Well, the latest news as on March 5th, 2019, the Replicel Life Sciences Company announced its successful completion of Phase 1 human clinical trials for its product RCH01, that is the hair cell restoration product for the treatment of male pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia. The company Replicel was first set up in Japan in the year 2013 and now in partnership with Shiseido, together they have brought a lot of changes. Shiseido has currently funded a human clinical study for RCH01 at the Tokyo Medical University Hospital and Toho University Ohashi Medical Center in Japan. I'll link all the official websites and research articles in the description of this video. I've also linked an article on the announcement made by Replicel CEO Mr. Lee Buckler to its shareholders. With the clinical study of RCH01 now successfully completed in Japan, Replicel expects Shiseido to declare its near-term plans for RCH01. Well, now, what is RCH01 treatment and how does this work? RCH01 has alternative names like DSC cell therapy that is dermal sheath cup cells, Replicel hair replacement therapy or Replicel human autologous hair follicle cells or just Replicel hair 01. This RCH01 is based on the principle of advanced cellular regeneration involving the dermal sheath cup cells, hence it's also known as the DSC cell therapy. Replicel's RCH01 hair growth treatment is done by first extracting and then culturing a patient's own hair follicle cells and then re-injecting the modified DHT resistant hair cells back into the patient's scalp. What they do is, firstly, through a simple punch biopsy, they isolate the cells from the healthy hair follicles from the patient's scalp. Then the hair follicles are dissected and the dermal papilla portion is cut off. Because this dermal papilla portion is the region where the DHT receptors are located and are responsible for damage by DHT, that is the dihydroxytestosterone. If you haven't watched my DHT and hair loss episode, please check that from an end screen link to understand this mechanism. Well, these cells are removed from the remaining follicle and cultured in a growth medium. The cells are replicated or multiplied into millions of new cells and then these are drawn into a syringe and this syringe is inserted into the patient's scalp skin and injected back into the patient. Remember, these are patient's own replicated cells and hence no adverse reaction or adverse effects, that is side effects and this is very much similar to the PRP treatment for hair loss, that is where the patient's own platelet rich plasma is injected. You can also check out my detailed video on the PRP mesotherapy for hair loss from a link in the description. Well, these cells after injection into the scalp scatter and migrate to attach to the dormant hair follicles and rejuvenate and stimulate them to grow further and also they have the ability to induce the formation of new healthy hair follicles and multiply over a period of time to give rise to new hair which emerges out of the skin surface. More details should be disclosed with the company once they launch the product. So what is the current status of this product? Shiseido's Japan Phase 1 clinical trial, which was started in third quarter of 2016, is now complete as per company's website and news. Now, whether they enter into Phase 2 or directly launch the product, it's still not clear. But likely possibility is the treatment could become available in 2020. Because of the strong positive data from this trial, there is a strong possibility that Shiseido might decide to launch the product in Japan first. So, keep your fingers crossed for the launch.